What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we are taking a look at my 318 attack touch of malice and we'll give you guys the reasoning behind me infusing it to such a high attack. Now the touch of malice in my opinion is probably the rarest exotic still to this day and not only that I think it's probably the most important weapon for the raid especially that hard mode. Now going into the hard mode Oryx fight of the King's Fall raid Getting the basic but new mechanic down which is basically an orb eating knight which spawns in and rushes to your orb to eat that motherfucker that paired with the higher level of enemies I feel a great primary weapon is needed here Now me, I normally work on a front right platform and I initially thought the sniper rifle was the most important weapon here so I was using my 310 attack black spindle which was doing a great job on the Olga and the Knights. But when it got to the stage of shooting Oryx and stunning him, I don't feel any weapon does that as good as the Touch of Malice. And stunning Oryx here, in my opinion, the most important part. But because I was running the Black Spindle and obviously I cannot use another exotic, I chose to try a few times using my 309 attack 1000 yard stare for the Knights and Olgas and switching my primary to the Touch of Malice. And the outcome was significantly better even though my overall light score went down. But not only did it feel way more successful using the Touch of Malice, I do think the 1000 yard stare works better than the Black Spindle and so would any other high impact sniper rifle. I mean for sure the Black Spindle has its uses but in this situation I don't think for me personally it's the best. I mean I spend so much time with the Black Spindle worrying about hitting crit shots and because it's absolutely mayhem in this hard mode Oryx fight and with the strategy we use as we rotate like most others on Olgas and Olgas getting ripped apart because we usually use the rotation of killing them as they spawn in I don't think the Black Spindle is that necessary here I'll go with a sniper rifle that can do the same sort of damage but holds more per mag and reloads faster. Doing so meant I could use the Touch of Malice which comes in so handy and I personally feel it was built for this raid in every single way. Taking out adds, switching from your snipers to finish off August or Knights and stunning Oryx that big mofo. It does all what's needed and in my opinion it does it the best. Now I have done the raid on that hard mode and twice I've been rewarded the raid hand cannon which in my opinion is a complete letdown due to its slow reload time. But having two drops actually for me was probably the best turn out I could have because if it was any other weapon primary wise I'd have to think about infusing it but because it's a weapon I won't ever use to me it was a no brainer. So yeah with the hand cannon dropping one off in 317 attack and the other one off in 320, it made complete sense to me to infuse them into my Touch of Malice, making it as powerful as possible and keeping my light score as high as it could possibly be. So that's what I've done. I infused both into my Tom and think it was a great choice. The hard mode is still relatively new. My max light at the moment is only 312 and I've only really had a low defense armor drop and only a couple of high attack weapons. I feel now at the early stages of the hard mode raid is the most important time to make these decisions which help in the long run as eventually we will be running this hard mode raid as easy as we do normal and the loot we obtain will flow like a stream. The next 320 attack weapon I get will indeed be infused into my touch of malice and take it to that 320 attack value but honestly it's all opinions i know people who choose not to use the touch of malice and don't like it or feel a different setup works better for them if you are one of those people let me know down below in that comment section what setup you use for this hard mode raid and why hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for stopping by as always do drop a like i do appreciate the support subscribe for daily destiny and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out until next time peace We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.